What if I told you that your DNA could tell a story more epic than any history book? Hidden within the genetic code of modern Mexicans lies a tapestry of ancient civilizations, migrations, and unexpected connections. From the towering pyramids of the Aztecs to the mysterious migrations of the Maya, and even surprising links to Africa and Asia, Mexico's genetic history is as rich and diverse as its culture. But this story is more than a tale of ancient times. It's a saga of survival, resilience, and adaptation that spans millennia. How did the genes of mighty empires live on after conquest? What secrets have indigenous DNA unlocked about health and human evolution? And how did faraway continents leave their mark on Mexican ancestry? Get ready to uncover the fascinating, untold truths hidden in Mexico's genetic past, a story that will change how you see history, culture, and yourself. The story of Mexican genetics begins with one of the most fascinating civilizations in history, the Aztecs. Known for their architectural wonders and vast empire, the Aztecs also left a genetic imprint that lives on in modern Mexicans. When we think of Aztec culture, we picture grand pyramids, intricate codices, and rich traditions, but few realize their DNA is just as enduring. Modern genetic studies have revealed that indigenous groups like the Nahua people, direct descendants of the Aztecs, carry genetic markers that trace back thousands of years. Even Mexicans who identify as mestizo, a mix of indigenous and European ancestry, often carry a significant percentage of Aztec DNA. What's incredible is that these markers don't just reveal ancestry, they also hint at ancient adaptations to environmental challenges. For example, certain genetic traits in modern Mexicans, like those linked to high-altitude survival, are thought to have originated from these ancient people. But the story doesn't end with science. The cultural legacy of the Aztecs is woven deeply into Mexican identity. Celebrations like Dia de los Muertos, Day of the Dead, echo ancient Aztec rituals honoring the dead. Even the Nahuatl language, once spoken by Aztec rulers, survives today, with millions of speakers keeping this legacy alive. The resilience of Aztec DNA is a testament to the survival of indigenous culture and identity, despite centuries of colonization and oppression. It's a genetic link that binds modern Mexico to its ancient roots, proving that the Aztec story didn't end with the Spanish conquest. Instead, it continues to thrive, invisibly etched into the people of Mexico today. When you think of Mexican heritage, African origins might not come to mind immediately. However, the truth is far more interconnected than most people realize. The transatlantic slave trade brought thousands of Africans to Mexico during the colonial era, and their genetic influence has been quietly shaping the Mexican genome ever since. Recent DNA studies have uncovered a surprising fact. Many Mexicans, especially in regions like Veracruz, Guerrero, and Oaxaca, carry African genetic markers. This isn't just about numbers, it's about a hidden story. These genetic traces tell of enslaved Africans who brought with them their traditions, resilience, and genetic legacy. Over generations, this African heritage merged with indigenous and European DNA, creating the diverse genetic mosaic we see in Mexico today. The African influence isn't just in the DNA, it's in the culture, too. Mexican music, for instance, owes a lot to African rhythms. The popular genre of San Giracho, with its upbeat tempos and syncopated rhythms, reflects this heritage. Even certain foods, like Veracruz's arroz a la tombada, a seafood rice dish, show African culinary influences. However, for centuries, this African heritage was erased or ignored in mainstream narratives about Mexico's history. Today, there's a growing movement to reclaim and celebrate this vital part of the country's identity. Scientists and historians alike are working to uncover more about these African roots, using genetic studies and historical records to tell the full story. This connection between Mexican and African DNA is a powerful reminder that history is rarely as straightforward as we think. It's a story of resilience, adaptation, and the blending of cultures, a story that enriches the understanding of what it truly means to be Mexican. Recent advancements in genetic technology have allowed scientists to unlock secrets buried deep within the DNA of Mexico's indigenous populations. 
These discoveries are painting a richer, more detailed picture of ancient civilizations and their contributions to modern Mexican identity. For example, researchers studying the genomes of indigenous groups like the Zapotecs and Mixtecs have uncovered unique genetic adaptations. Some of these adaptations help these groups survive harsh environmental conditions, such as high altitudes or limited water resources. This research not only highlights the resilience of these communities, but also offers clues about how they thrived in pre-Columbian times. One particularly groundbreaking discovery is the genetic link between indigenous Mexicans and ancient populations in North and South America. This connection suggests that ancient migrations across the Americas were far more complex than previously thought. The idea that people moved, traded, and interacted over vast distances challenges outdated notions of isolated civilizations. But the importance of these discoveries goes beyond science. For indigenous communities, understanding their genetic history is a way to reclaim their heritage. In a world where colonial narratives have often overshadowed indigenous contributions, these genetic studies provide undeniable proof of their deep and enduring roots in the land. These findings also offer practical benefits. By studying indigenous genetics, scientists are gaining insights into health and disease. For example, certain genetic traits found in indigenous Mexicans may influence how they respond to conditions like diabetes or hypertension, paving the way for more personalized medical treatments. As researchers continue to explore Mexico's genetic past, they're not just uncovering facts, they're rewriting the story of a nation. These discoveries remind us that the history of Mexico's indigenous civilizations is far from over. It lives on in the DNA of their descendants and in the groundbreaking research that keeps their legacy alive. When we think about Mexico's history, the Spanish conquest often dominates the narrative. But the genetic story of Mexico reveals a more nuanced tale, one that goes far beyond the arrival of Europeans. Hidden within the DNA of modern Mexicans are traces of multiple migrations and cultural exchanges that predate and transcend the colonial era. For instance, genetic research has uncovered evidence of early interactions between indigenous Mexicans and peoples from far-flung regions of the Americas. Populations from the northern deserts, the Pacific coasts, and even parts of what is now the United States left their genetic footprints in Mexican DNA. These findings suggest that ancient trade networks and cultural exchanges were far more extensive than previously thought. Moreover, the conquest itself introduced a variety of genetic influences that go beyond Spanish ancestry. Alongside Spanish colonizers came North African Moors, Sephardic Jews, and even Asian individuals brought through the Manila Acapulco galleon trade. These groups, though often overlooked in history books, left subtle but lasting marks on Mexican genetics. For example, certain genetic markers linked to Mediterranean and Asian populations can still be found in modern Mexicans. Even within indigenous groups, genetic diversity is staggering. Mexico is home to one of the world's richest arrays of indigenous languages and cultures, and this diversity is reflected in the DNA. From the rugged Sierra Madre to the lush Yucatan, each region tells its own story through the genetic makeup of its people. What's truly fascinating is how these layers of genetic history coexist. The mestizo identity, which emerged during the colonial period, represents a blending of these various influences, yet it doesn't erase the distinctiveness of indigenous or African roots. Instead, Mexican DNA is like a palimpsest, a complex, layered record of thousands of years of human history, adaptation, and resilience. The genetic story of Mexico goes beyond conquest and colonization. It's a tale of survival, interconnectedness, and the incredible ability of cultures to adapt and thrive in the face of change. Hidden in this DNA is proof that history is never one-dimensional, but a rich tapestry that continues to evolve. The ancient Maya civilization is often celebrated for its astronomical knowledge, stunning architecture, and complex social systems. But what about their genetic legacy? Thanks to modern technology, we're now uncovering how the Maya and other ancient civilizations shaped the DNA of modern Mexico. The Maya inhabited a vast region that included present-day southern Mexico, Guatemala, Belize, and parts of Honduras and El Salvador. 
Their genetic influence remains strongest in the Yucatan Peninsula, where many communities today identify as Mayan and speak Mayan languages. Genetic studies have confirmed that these populations are direct descendants of the Maya, carrying markers that trace back thousands of years. Interestingly, the Maya DNA also reveals clues about their ancient migrations. Research suggests that the Maya were part of larger population movements that spread across Central America and beyond. These migrations weren't just about survival, they facilitated the exchange of ideas, technology, and culture. One of the most intriguing aspects of Maya genetics is its link to modern health research. For example, certain genetic traits found in Maya descendants are associated with adaptations to local diets and environments. However, these same traits may also contribute to higher rates of diseases like diabetes in modern times, as traditional lifestyles and diets have changed dramatically. But the Maya are only one piece of the puzzle. Mexico's genetic roots extend to other ancient groups, like the Almecs and the Zapotecs. Each civilization added its own chapter to the genetic story of the region. Together, these groups created a rich genetic heritage that continues to shape Mexico's population today. The study of ancient DNA isn't just about the past, it's about identity. For many Mayan descendants, this research affirms their connection to a proud and enduring heritage. It's a reminder that the Maya weren't lost to history. Their legacy lives on in their descendants, their culture, and yes, their DNA. The arrival of the Spanish in the early 16th century forever changed the genetic landscape of Mexico. The conquest brought not only European settlers, but also their genes, creating a lasting legacy that reshaped the population. Today, the mestizo identity, a mix of indigenous and European ancestry, dominates Mexico. But how did this genetic blending occur, and what does it reveal about Mexico's history? When Anand Cortes and his forces arrived in Mexico, they were accompanied by settlers, soldiers, and enslaved peoples from across the Spanish Empire. These groups intermarried with indigenous populations, leading to the emergence of mestizo communities. However, this process was anything but uniform. In central Mexico, where the Spanish established their power base, European genetic influence is particularly strong. In contrast, in more remote regions like Oaxaca and Chiapas, indigenous ancestry remains dominant. Genetic studies have also uncovered surprising nuances in this blending process. For example, some European genetic markers found in Mexicans are linked to regions like the Basque Country or southern Spain, reflecting the diverse origins of Spain's colonists. Interestingly, the Spanish weren't the only Europeans to leave their mark. In the centuries following the conquest, Mexico saw small waves of immigration from Italy, Germany, and even Ireland, each adding to the genetic mix. The legacy of colonization extends beyond Europe. The transatlantic slave trade brought African genes into the mix, while the Manila Galleon trade introduced Asian influences. These global connections created a genetic mosaic that is uniquely Mexican. But this blending of genes wasn't just a biological process, it was deeply tied to social and cultural changes. The Spanish imposed new systems of governance, religion, and language, reshaping indigenous societies. Over time, these changes created a new Mexican identity, one that combined indigenous, European, and other influences into something entirely unique. Today, Mexico's genetic diversity is a testament to its complex history. The story of colonization is one of loss and resilience, oppression and adaptation. It's a story written not just in history books, but in the DNA of its people, a reminder of how the past continues to shape the present. With the advent of advanced genetic research, scientists have embarked on a new journey to unravel the mysteries hidden within Mexican DNA. Over the last decade, studies using genome sequencing and population genetics have transformed our understanding of Mexico's diverse ancestry, revealing stories that were once locked in the past. One of the most significant revelations from modern DNA studies is the incredible complexity of indigenous ancestry. For example, researchers have identified dozens of distinct genetic subgroups within Mexico, each corresponding to specific indigenous communities. 
These subgroups demonstrate that even neighboring populations, such as the Mestics and Zapotics, have unique genetic signatures shaped by thousands of years of evolution in their distinct environments. Technology has also enabled scientists to trace ancient migrations with incredible precision. By comparing the DNA of modern Mexicans with ancient samples, researchers have confirmed that early human populations entered the Americas through Beringia and later spread across the continent. However, in Mexico, the story becomes more intricate. Genetic evidence suggests that there were multiple waves of migration into the region, each leaving a unique imprint on the population. Another breakthrough involves the health implications of genetic ancestry. Studies have linked indigenous genetic traits to susceptibility or resistance to certain diseases, such as diabetes, obesity, and hypertension. This research is helping to develop targeted medical treatments for Mexican populations, offering the promise of more effective health care based on genetic insights. The study of Mexican genetics is not just about science, it's deeply personal for many people. Through genetic testing, individuals are discovering connections to indigenous, European, African, and Asian ancestors they may never have known about. This new awareness is sparking a broader conversation about identity and heritage in modern Mexico, encouraging a renewed appreciation for the country's diversity. Modern DNA studies have proven that Mexican ancestry is more than a straightforward tale of conquest and colonization. It's a story of ancient migrations, environmental adaptations, and cultural resilience. And with every new discovery, scientists are not only rewriting history, but also highlighting the remarkable diversity that defines Mexico today. Mexico is often described as a cultural melting pot, a vibrant blend of traditions, languages, and cuisines. But this fusion isn't just cultural, it's genetic too. The DNA of modern Mexicans reflects centuries of intermingling among indigenous peoples, European colonizers, African slaves, and Asian immigrants, creating one of the most diverse genetic landscapes in the world. This fusion began long before the arrival of Europeans. Indigenous civilizations like the Almecs, Mayans, and Aztecs engaged in trade and cultural exchanges, spreading ideas, goods, and genes across the region. These interactions created a foundation of genetic diversity that persists today, particularly among indigenous communities. The Spanish conquest added another layer of complexity. As European settlers intermarried with indigenous peoples, a new identity, the Mestizo, emerged. Over time, Mestizos became the largest demographic group in Mexico, embodying a blend of indigenous and European heritage. However, this blending didn't erase the distinctiveness of indigenous populations. Instead, it added new dimensions to Mexico's genetic and cultural identity. African and Asian influences further enriched this genetic mosaic. Enslaved Africans brought to Mexico during the colonial period contributed not only to the gene pool but also to the culture, particularly in regions like Veracruz and Guerrero. Similarly, the Manila Galleon trade introduced Asian immigrants, whose genetic legacy can still be found in modern Mexicans, particularly in Pacific coastal regions. This genetic fusion is mirrored in Mexico's vibrant culture. Foods like tamales and mole reflect indigenous traditions, while dishes like chiles and nogada showcase European influences. Music genres like mariachi and san Jaracho carry echoes of African and Spanish rhythms, blending them into something uniquely Mexican. Even language reflects this fusion, with Nahuatl words like chocolate and tomato becoming staples of Spanish and global vocabularies. Today, Mexico's genetic diversity is a source of pride and curiosity. DNA testing kits are increasingly popular, allowing individuals to explore their ancestry and uncover connections to indigenous, European, African, and Asian roots. This personal connection to a shared history is fostering a deeper appreciation for Mexico's multicultural identity. Mexico's genetic story is a testament to the beauty of diversity. It's a story of resilience, adaptation, and the blending of worlds, a reminder that what makes Mexico unique is not just its past, but the way it continues to embrace and celebrate its rich heritage.